In this video I'll be going over how to connect your MISSS fast skin into the MIA material to use a reflection and refraction of the MIA material. Um, I'm also going over how to load up a neural map onto the MIA material in Maya 2011 without it crashing. Uh, with this current build of Maya, a lot of times Maya will crash the instant you try to change your bump 2D node into a tangent space normals node. So let's load up the neural map first, or how you would go about loading up your map. I'm going to Mental Ray, the MISS is fast skin, create that, go to Utilities, click Bump 2D, I'm going to go to 2D Textures, click on File, have both of these, middle mouse drag and drop your file right on top of the Bump 2D, go to Default, Bump 2D, Change the tangent space. I'm going to change my filter type to off and cut my color profile to linear. I'm selecting my fast skin. Make sure your bump is open. Middle mouse drag and drop your bump 2D node right into the bump. And they'll link. Now you can load up your map perfectly fine without Maya crashing. If you try to do it this way without having all of these loaded and just click on that little, check bo uh, that little checker box there and load it, the instant you change bump to tangent space, it will crash Maya. So now that we have that done with, why would you want to put this shader into the MIA, uh, MIA material? The reason is because right now it's using specularity. The specularity, quite frankly, in the MIA material is not the best. Um, technically speaking, uh, when you're dealing with real world, it's all reflection. Not really specs. Specs almost like a cheat and kind of fake, and you don't really control everything like the perfect drop off and everything else in there. So what I'm going to do now is connect the MIA, the MSSS fast skin into the MIA material. I'm going to click the fast skin, take my overall weight, change this to zero. Next thing you want to do is go under algorithm control, turn off screen composite. What this does is when you're using your physical sun and sky, uh, it will keep your uh, skin from turning flat gray. So now that we have that, I'm going to go to the M mental ray, click on MIA material, which you have this material now, um, and I'm going to click on my fast skin now and click input up connections. This will allow me to see the group node. You want to click on the shader group node, go to mental ray, open that, scroll down, and you want to replace the material shader, the shadow shader, and the photon shader with the MIA material. Before anything, you want to add the fast skin material to your object. Make sure you do this beforehand. Now I go back to the shader group node, middle mouse drag and drop my MIA material right into my material shader, the shadow shader, and into the photon shader. You want to make sure you do not overwrite this and keep the light map shader right there. What you want to do next is I'm going to drag and drop my uh, fast skin into my MIA material. I'm going to drag my MIA material down here, just use the middle mouse. Middle mouse drag and drop my fast skin right on top of it. Go to Other, scroll down, go to Out Value, scroll down this side, click on Additional Color. You notice this color is really bright. The reason for that is because it's adding an extra 0.5 value to the color in here. So what you want to do is take this and bring it back to black. This will just give it its reflection. Now this material basically has all the aspects of the previous. But if you do have a neural map, like so, we have a neural map plugged into the fast skin, you also want this to be plugged into the reflect uh, in this material so the reflection takes the bump or the neural map into account. The problem right now is if I go to the MIA material and scroll down, if I open up bump, they'll have a little checkbox. It doesn't exactly let you load up a map. So to do this, make sure mental ray is checking the side, scroll down until you find the MISSS set normal. Click that, create that. Middle mouse drag and drop your bump 2D node right on top of it. Go to normal. And now you want to middle mouse drag and drop your set normal onto your MIA material. And go to other. Click your out value and connect it to your bump. Now this shader should have everything it needs connected to it. So I'm going to click both of these. Connections. Now I have the bump node connected to both of these, 
and also have um, the skin shader plugged right in. Now you have yourself an advanced MIA material. Make sure when you're rendering to change this to mental ray, because these are mental ray shaders and they do not work inside normal Maya.